Hey guys, it's Mike with Become the Night. Uh, this is a quick type of video that we, we really need to talk about some shit, man. There still will be another video tomorrow. I just, this, I really need to address this. I forget how long ago, it was a couple Tuesdays ago, the entire YouTube website crashed. I remember I was driving a couple of my sister's friends back to their Airbnb. They were all in town visiting. I wanted to show them the video of my buddy Chuck roasting the fuck out of me because it was hilarious and nothing's loading, nothing's loading. And I'm like, man, what's going on with my app? And I tried this for about a half an hour until I'm like, is, is something wrong with YouTube? I go and look at my studio, my, my creator studio, no views. I about shit my pants. I was freaked out. Lo and behold, to find out that the entire site was down. I didn't get a fucking email. I didn't get a text. I didn't get, I didn't get a post from YouTube. I had to go through a third party to find out that YouTube was down. A couple days or like a week or two later or something, we get a video from Markiplier. Markiplier says YouTube is broken. And you know, at first you think it's gonna be like, oh, it's just a bitching video, but I do like some of his just talky videos as opposed to his gaming videos. Even he wasn't able to get a straight answer out of YouTube as to what was going on. Apparently, according to a couple of different secondhand and thirdhand sources that I have caught, the story goes, when Google was integrating Google Plus into their suite of online software that they have available for people for free, they deeply embedded that into YouTube. Google Plus recently had a very bad, very embarrassing data leak. A bunch of people's personal information was leaked and it was hacked into, and now they have to dismantle it. Why they didn't dismantle it earlier is beyond me. But what follows next may be that reason. The supposition is that Tuesday when Google was trying to take out that large portion of Google Plus and dismantle it, it took with it a bunch of key components to YouTube and shut the website down. They didn't tell anyone. They still haven't confirmed that this is the case as far as I know. If this website breaks, you're talking about millions of people around the world that are out of jobs instantly. And this is just a small instance that, I mean, for me, it's had a huge impact on my channel. Having just that dead space for an hour and a half has destroyed my SEO and, and absolutely destroyed my ranking in the algorithm. Videos that would normally get about 10,000 views in a week aren't even seeing eight. I just released a Greta Van Fleet video yesterday and that's helping kickstart things again, thankfully. But even still, I have 100,000 subscribers. Most of them don't know that I upload four videos a fucking week. Most of them don't know because YouTube doesn't tell them. Why in the hell doesn't YouTube let the people who clicked a subscribe button know that I have new videos up? It's gotten to the point where even if you go to your sub tab, it doesn't even go to your sub tab for some of the people you're subscribed to. How the fuck are we supposed to make this work viably as a business if, if the guaranteed ways for our viewers to watch our stuff is inept? I was watching Chris Raygun's live stream on this and he made an excellent point that I haven't heard anyone talk about yet and it, it's so on point. Because there's so little feedback from YouTube in any capacity, when you make a video that you think is great and you put a lot of fucking love into, a lot of hard work, for one instance being any music that I put on this channel, you, you don't know if it's just the fact that your thumbnail was bad, if the video, if the music and video itself was bad, if YouTube's just not sending it to anyone and not telling anyone because YouTube doesn't think it's important to people. Like, it's one thing for it to not be very discoverable outside of your subscription base in a recommended video. It's a completely different when you have people subscribing to you. And as Chris Reagan was saying, he doesn't know if it's his fault or if it's YouTube's fault. So you don't know if you have to change something in, in how you're titling your videos and how you're doing uh, your freaking thumbnail if you're just saying the wrong things, if you're just not funny, like it's so stress inducing because you don't know how to fix your problem. If you knew 100% that it was you are the problem, then you'd know you just have to get better. But when it's at the mercy of an algorithm and they won't tell you whether it is or not, 
why put the effort towards trying to make something better if it's the fact that you might ruin the stuff that's already good? It's, it's a really complicated situation, and it's really f fucking impossible to deal with, man. I shouldn't say impossible. I mean, obviously, I have a, a good, healthy channel right now. It's an amount of stress that's unnecessary. There's no reason why I would need that amount of stress. Again, this is one of many examples where YouTube does not have remotely sufficient enough communication of information back to its creators. I don't care what they say. They do not properly care about their creators, and it shows. I forget who it was. I think it was Markiplier says they can't care about their creators. No, they definitely can. They can't care about everyone on an individual basis because that would be impossible. I absolutely agree. But there are some basic things that they could institute with very little manpower in order to give us something. One, the copyright system on YouTube is still broken. There needs to be a penalty for quote unquote copyright holders or people who are not the copyright holders who claim copyright falsely. There absolutely needs to be a penalty for people that do that. It's not only unethical, it's against the law. Number two, we should know how many of our uploads get sent to people's notifications. By the way, if you've made it this far into the video, please make sure if you're not subscribed, subscribe and make sure that you have the bell clicked. It should have the little markings around it like it's ringing. Please, for the love of God, it's, it's gonna help the channel so much if you do that. Number three, we should have feedback if there's something wrong with the algorithm or if you're changing something with the algorithm. I understand you don't want to give people who would do ill and game the algorithm an advantage over others. You want to try and make it as fair as possible and you have to keep people in the dark on that if that's your reasoning. But you should let us know in advance that you are making some tweaks to the platform. You shouldn't just do it without telling anyone. And then when shit goes haywire, you get blown up and you stress us the hell out. It's one thing like Markiplier said for them not to be able to care about their creators. It's a completely different thing for them to actively not give a shit about the people who made your fucking website. I'm sorry, I've seen so many people talk about this. They are not remotely indignant enough. I understand you need to appeal to advertisers. And by the way, advertisers are real fucking picky and choosy about who is advertiser friendly and who isn't, especially if you look at mainstream media. I get that they are what help keep the doors open at YouTube, but you know who brought the advertisers here in the first place? Fucking us! We did! I'm not ashamed to say it. I'm not ashamed to yell at your fucking face. It's disgusting how you treat us. It is fucking disgraceful. We don't do this for you. We do it for us. But you benefit from it, big time. And I know we get a free platform, but you know what? You get free content. You wouldn't be fucking shit without us. All these people that you push on trending that are all mainstream already and come and invade our fucking platform, they wouldn't be here without us making it viable. I'm so sick of everyone being so nicey-nicey to YouTube and oh, I understand, I understand. Trust me, I do too, but I also understand you can do way the fuck better. It doesn't even take that much. You just need to give a, you pull your fucking head out of your Silicon Valley ass and look at us, talk to us, not the big ones at the top. Fuck, like the normal day-to-day -day people who live month to month on an entertainment industry paycheck. Chris Reagan said, you know, it's impossible to collectivize. It's only impossible because we haven't tried because we believe it's impossible. The only way this could possibly work, and by the way, it's a long fucking shot. The only way collectivizing as creators would work is it has to start at the very top of creators, so it has the maximum amount of visibility. All of the creators with 10 million subscribers or more would need to get on board. Not all of them, but most of them. Most of the very visible ones would need to get on board with this. And then from there, each tier needs to follow. Obviously, not everyone is going to get on board with this, but if you get enough of the very large creators together to do this, and especially a lot of the smaller creators, you'll make an impact. It sounds shitty to say, there needs to be a creator strike. There absolutely needs to be. We need to decide for one day or even a week or god forbid a month we tell youtube to go fuck themselves you wouldn't be shit without us 
and you can sit there and try and get as much money as you can from Jimmy Fallon clips. If the bulk of the most watched people on YouTube took a hiatus for a week, that would destroy the platform. They'd be talking to us real fucking quick. I don't know how to get this out there. Like, honestly, the, the idea needs to be talked about. It really does. And it can't just be like, oh, it's like herding cats. I get it. I get it's next to impossible, but everyone knows the stakes here. We're at their fucking mercy. They got us over the barrel and we are the ones that have the real power. They wouldn't have their power without us. There are a lot of us who would still do this without the ad revenue. There are a lot of us that would still do this if it had to migrate to a different platform. YouTube couldn't do it without us. Advertisers wouldn't be here without us. We hold the most power in this dynamic. We need to fucking seize it. The only way to do that, people at the top, big fucking YouTubers, please get this out to them. Please share this video around. I'm, I sound like I'm mad, like I'm crazy. I'm not crazy. I'm just fucking sick of it. The only way we're going to find any solutions is by coming together and talking about it and taking it more seriously than it's just a YouTube job. It's just an entertainment job. Yeah. It is. And you know what? You're being fucking slapped about like a bitch. Don't take this shit anymore. Take yourself more fucking seriously. Take all of us more seriously. That's all I gotta say. Bye.